Hello, roller coaster enthusiasts! Welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon, and we are very close to the end of the list. Today, we are taking on Big Pier, where I have to have 600 guests at the end of year two with a park rating of 600, which shouldn't be super difficult, except that we're in building entirely over water, as the name Big Pier may suggest. So, I'm gonna pause this because my guests are already coming in, and that's kind of a problem because there's nothing in here yet. Although I can't build when it's paused, so we'll just have to we'll have to go from there. But let's see first how much land we have, uh, water space, I guess, that we have, and if I can buy anything, and also what rides I have. So we're kind of up on a little plateau, I guess, in the water here. It doesn't look like I can buy any more land or get any more land. This one's buy land to extend park. Yeah, it doesn't really look like I can buy anything, but I'm not quite clear on where the bounds of the park are. Are. So I guess we're just going to assume that I have all of the water area to play with unless it tells me otherwise. Now let's take a look at, I'm guessing we have the standard rides. Yep, we have the, wow, it's kind of a limited, limited selection here. We can definitely have a water ride though, so that's a plus. I'm gonna think I might start with the boat hire, given that this is a water park, more or less. I'm gonna put it, can I put it out here? Construction is not allowed while the game is paused. Can I put it out here when the game is not paused? I can. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I don't actually want it that close to the pier itself, but that is good to know. I'm gonna put it right there, I think. Wait, that's not owned by the park. This is owned by the park. This. Okay, so about four spaces away from the pier is as far as I can build, which tells me I need to put the roller coasters probably within these square bits, which means they're gonna have to be smaller ones. We can choose our hue color again. I think the only one we haven't had is green, so let's go with green, even though blue would probably be more thematically appropriate given where we are, and let's build an entrance to that, and people will have something at least to ride, use, do, whatever, it's set up. We're ready to go. We have one ride in the books and now I can add the other smaller rides. I'm gonna start with the smaller rides, I think, because that would just be easiest to do as usual. Um, but I don't know where I'm going to put them. Wow, if that's the farthest I can build away from the pier on that side, this is going to be a very small park. Maybe it's just because it's over towards the land area. Maybe the other sides have more space. I'll have to take a look at that. Hmm, I think I'm gonna start... I'm gonna start by at least seeing if I can fit one of these in here. Can't construct this here. I'm guessing... Okay, let's take a look at the other roller coaster I have. I've used it in a lot of parks, but I kind of want to see where it and if it will fit. Not really. Okay, so that's that's fine. That's fine. We can deal with that. I can build my own if push comes to shove. Until then, I'm just going to uh, have it here. Now, I really do not have space for stuff. I suppose I could build under walkways, but I don't want to do that unless it's absolutely necessary. I'm going to put this in this corner here. Oh, that is much higher up than I thought it was going to be. No, 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 I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put it there. I know what I'm going to do. Because I feel like, I feel like this is going to be, there's going to be a lot of strategic planning uh, to do in this one. There's going to be a lot of strategic laying of pathways and stuff. So we'll, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. I have an idea. Okay, that wasn't the most strategic I, it could be, but I tried. There we are. There's something to ride. Now, are all of those size rides going to do that, or are they going to build, build themselves, like, just directly on the water, is my question. Okay, it looks like they're kind of all going to do that, so that's good to know. Um, I'm going to put the entrance to this over here, and the exit just directly off. Now you can't see it, but the exit to it directly off this way. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a planning nightmare. Okay, we've got a carousel, merry-go-round, whatever. We've got a scrambled scrambler. We've got some stuff. We've got some music. We've got still a kind of a planning nightmare. Wow, this is gonna be... This is gonna be tough just to fit stuff in here, I have a feeling. I might not really get many... I'm not even going to... Am I gonna bother- oh god, a log flume. Am I gonna bother to research roller coasters? Am I going to be able to install any roller coasters? I'll leave it there just in case, but I think we've already learned that I'm gonna have to build them myself if I want to do that. But- and I don't know how I feel about that, because as- as I've said many times, I'm not the greatest at building my own roller coasters. I need more practice. So, that- that's only gonna happen 
if I get to the end of year two or near the end of year two and we're just having major problems. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I see, I can, so some of this stuff does build up above the water like this and some of it doesn't. That's kind of strange, but that's fine. I don't like the placement of that at all though. Right, we filled out about half of this rectangle or whatever, square, whatever it is. <laughs> that, so that's good, that's, uh, that's good, I guess. Oh my goodness. And now I'm sh Wow! Tons of people all of a sudden. And a log flume, probably not gonna be able to fit that in there, so I'm not gonna bother. I am going to build, however, a food court. Now the question is, okay, they- oh, 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 great, okay. They do hover kind of up above the water like the rides do, so I'm just gonna put all of the food and stuff over in this general area so that people uh, know where to go. Now, I did want to put a car ride in there. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to put a car ride in there, but it ended up being in the weirdest place it could possibly be, so I think I'm going to build it. Maybe back in the back over here, so it's... Well, I don't know that it's the farthest away it could possibly be, but it's it's far far away. There we go. It's it's starting to look like a park, at least. Now, I should probably... should Now, the question is, should I make another food court in the opposite corner, or should I build a roller coaster? first. Let's do a food court first. I'm gonna put a food court over here first. Probably around the outside so I can fit a roller coaster on the inside. Either way, the roller coaster is gonna be by a food court now, so it's too late to rethink that plan. Okay, now we have two food court areas. One other thing I need to do is hire some handymen, so let's do that. I don't have to worry about them mowing the grass, which is nice, but I'm gonna leave it there anyway just because, you know what, it takes longer. It's just an extra step to check it off, except now I'm used to doing it and I keep going to do it. Oops. Uh, mechanics also probably a good idea. And now that we have some more variety and some more rides, I think I'm going to advertise the park. Now I can see this becoming a crowding issue very, very, very quickly. So that'll be fun. I How am I supposed to get more pathways in here though is the thing. Like I can't really build off to the sides here. Let me see how far it will let me build off to the sides by not using a roller coaster. Like off to this side here. So it's, basi it's basically to where the drop off is. Okay, that's good to know. That doesn't really give me a lot of space to work with. I'm gonna check one more time that I can't buy more. But that's fun. Yeah. Okay, you can just barely see the lines there. Yeah, and it is just that top flat area. Oh boy. Well, these people on the boat ride are gonna take 20 years to get back. Where'd they even go? Where are you people? Oh, there they are. Never mind, they're fine. <laughs> oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd that just flash up for me to build it? Where'd it go? <gasps> I could fit a roller coaster in there. Yes, and then we have a spiral slide. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I could not ask for a better combination of events. Okay, we have a roller coaster that may very well be the only roller coaster that ends up in this park, but uh, hey, that's fine as long as there's one. Sweet, I should have waited to do the uh, thing in the other advertisement for a specific ride until I built that, but I didn't know I was gonna be able to build that. That's fine, after this one runs out, we can advertise for this and that should draw some more people in. I have next to no money for now because I have to build over water and I just built a roller coaster. So we're gonna have to wait. I hope these people are- f I want a spiral slide though. Oh god. Okay. Um, 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 I'm gonna have to put something over here soon, but oh, oh boy. I'm not hungry and I'm not thirsty are the top thoughts of my guests, but you know what? I'd rather you be complaining about not being th something than being something. That means I have enough. It's probably because this park is very small. That's perfectly fine though. Wow, there are a lot of people in this small area. This is gonna just get so crowded so quickly. I'm so sorry, people. Oh no, I, this is just gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? Oh good, and a roller coaster is in development. I'm keeping these in development because I want to try to build my own at some point if I need to. As I said, that's kind of a backup plan. Wow, I got a lot of money all of a sudden. That's kind of a backup plan, if I'm going to be honest with you. But I, I need options because some of the roller coasters you can build smaller than others. Like, um, the technically the wild mouse coaster is kind of, you can build it kind of small. They're kind of designed to fit in small spaces. I don't know. The last time I tried to build one though, no one would ride it because as with all roller coasters I build, it was way too exciting according to the game and people didn't want to go on it. So we'll see how that goes. We are halfway there in terms of our guest numbers though, so that's good. Our rating could be better. It could be better. I'm guessing it's 
probably partly due to how crowded it is versus how many rides there are, but that's fine. Oh my gosh, of course, we're researching the steel roller coaster. There's that really tiny steel roller coaster that I put in every single park. Why didn't I think of that? Of course, that'll help a lot. Thankfully, It's Too Crowded here has not reached anywhere near the top of the charts, if anyone's thinking it at all, so I'll take that. I'll take that, as long as they don't feel too crowded. I think part of the way you can kind of avoid that is to make sure that there are a lot of rides because there will be a lot of queue spaces and people will be in line as opposed to wandering around in clumps. I think. Don't quote me on that. That's just my assumption. Alright, who's ready to build the looping roller coaster that I put in literally every park? I really... I want to build one of these at some point. I keep saying it every park, but we are gonna do it eventually, hopefully, just probably not any of these later parks because I'm gonna have a big enough problem. Ah, uh, ooh, and I immediately closed it because I'm silly. Okay, now, I would like, I would kind of like to put it over here because there's nothing over here yet, rides-wise, but I want to utilize the outside space as much as possible as well, so I'm gonna put it over here, I think. <gasps> I can put, I can put one, I can put one in here, I can put one in here. Oh, I can put, yes, perfect, perfect. Now, that kind of takes space away from, for kind of the gentle rides and stuff, although they can go outside, can't they? And there is still some space here, there is still a decent amount of space here. I think that is gonna do it for roller coasters now, though, because I see no way, I see absolutely no way that this isn't just gonna, I am not gonna have any more space, so. This is it. There's gonna be so much vomit in this corner of the park. I think I'm gonna tell this handyman to kind of stick around this area. Because people are just gonna eat and vomit. That's all they're gonna do on this side. I can't tell where I've put his pathway. I think that's good. I think with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn off roller coaster research because there's no way I'm gonna be able to build one unless I build it like all the way around the park or something. I am not capable of building a roller coaster that will fit and I've basically built all the ones already that will. So this is, as I said, these are all, all our roller coasters for the park, I think. It's mostly gonna be thrill rides that aren't enormous and gentle rides and kind of filling those things in. It's probably a good thing that this is such a short time frame for this park because if it was a longer time frame, like I just, I wouldn't be able to add stuff. People would get bored, more and more people would come and it's just more and more likely that I would fail. I don't know if I'm gonna pass as it is, but more and more likely to fail the longer it is. There are so many people coming to my park. Look at that. That's nuts! Look at these huge herds of people. I mean, it's great. I'll take it, but that's amazing. There's so many people coming from this town. And thanks to that giant herd of guests, we are just over 600 guests. Nice. Nice, and my park rating has gone up quite a bit. Now, I think because of the nature of this park and how easily I have a feeling this could all go wrong, I'm gonna kind of hang out and keep the camera going, just in case anything super exciting happens. But otherwise, if it doesn't, I will see you in October of year two, I guess. We're already there, folks. We're already there. Hi, folks. Welcome back to October of year two. As you can probably tell, not much happened in the between times. And we still have 600 guests. In fact, we have over a thousand guests. I've kind of just been letting it go organically. We have added a few rides, as you can probably tell, and it's quite crowded and frankly loud in this park, so we're gonna stay quite a ways away. But we do have, we added a haunted house over here, a swinging ship, a 3D cinema. Let's see, what else did I add? I added this observation tower. This kind of inadvertently became the car area because I added the bumper cars in there as well. And we also have one of these Gravitrons. The one thing you'll see that I don't normally have is this chairlift because I thought, hey, what the heck, let's kind of mark the outer boundary of the park do something I don't really generally do because I'm not really sure where to, you know, where to put the stations and stuff. That's the main reason. And also I could fill out some of the space, which I actually haven't really been doing. I've kind of been filling in the middle a bit and there haven't been as many rides that I want to add in as I thought there would be. I have paid off my loan. I paid it off quite a while ago, in fact. And yeah, like I said, it's just, it looks good. There's been no problem with crowding. As far as I can tell, um, that's still the case. No one's feeling too crowded. Every once in a while, it'll show up like 15 or 16 people. Somewhere down around here, people will think it's crowded, but it's not so bad. I do have a lot of sick people, but that's fine. <laughs> what do you expect? 
And yeah, as per usual, this one, unlike uh, Mothball Mountain, I think it was, where I had issues with overcrowding and the park rating going down, I don't think that's going to be an issue here. I think we're just going to smoothly ride this out until the end. We've got another one down, folks, and we're so close. We're so close to the end of the main list of parks in this game. I'm super excited. Let's enter my name into that scenario chart and take a look at what the next one's gonna be. Well, the next one's gonna be Lightning Peaks, folks, which I have heard is one of the harder ones, so that'll be exciting at least. I guess the beautiful mountains of Lightning Peaks are popular with walkers and sightseers, so we'll see what that entails next time. Like this video if you enjoyed this little walkthrough of this particular scenario, Big Pier. Also, if you enjoyed what you saw, I do these every Friday, so be sure sure to subscribe if you want to see more Roller Coaster Tycoon content. After we're done with these, we will move on to Corkscrew, fo Corkscrew Follies and then Loopy Landscapes eventually. And then as I've been saying, I do believe I have Roller Coaster Tycoon too. So there's all of that content coming your way every Friday. Subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you then.